Okay. Thank you so much. And now let's check out Chopper 6 HD. It is live at Philadelphia International Airport. We believe this is the plane carrying the national champ Villanova Wildcats. We believe it is. They are turning, obviously, taxiing closer to the airport at this moment. They're at the private airfield, and we are going to keep an eye on it just in case, but that's what we've been told, that they have just landed wheels down in Philadelphia. Welcome home, guys. Can't wait to see them. And again, a number of buses are there on the tarmac waiting to whisk them to campus. And of course, we will follow it every step of the way. It is a journey that has just begun. Actually, it started a few weeks ago in March Madness, but the journey will end on campus and we will follow it. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. My friends, and now as they move the ladder closer to the plane, all of the players will come off in just a moment in the homecoming celebration will get underway. It'll last for, I guess, for about four days because, as we've been telling you, Friday is a victory parade in Center City, Philadelphia. So today is just the beginning of what will be four days of celebrating Villanova's national championship. And truly, so many people may not realize that what makes this a special day is not just the win, but the fact that this team truly ignored many circumstances, the odds, the history that's favored UNC Chapel Hill as a powerhouse team. Uh, Villanova got a very strong basketball program too, but nonetheless, they were able to beat a team that has historically gone to the championship and won again and again and again. And we are so proud of them, and we're about to see the faces that everyone's fallen in love with, all of these wonderful young men and their coach, Jay Wright, who led them through a very difficult game last night, back and forth, but they were able to stick tough and in the final seconds, when it looked like it might be a tie going into overtime, in fact, it was not a tie into overtime. It was a three-pointer, a buzzer beater in the last couple seconds. Deuces. People are describing this as an iconic shot we'll be watching for decades. Absolutely. A moment that's frozen in time of Chris Jenkins with the follow-through in that three-pointer that won the game at the buzzer, 77-74 over North Carolina. Oh, what a run this team had, an incredible run. Uh, they last lost in the Big East uh, title game to Seton Hall about uh, three, four weeks ago, and then won every game pretty much handily. Uh, they were tested last night, and they were tested by Kansas in the Elite Eight game, but they won by an average of 21 points per game. Uh, they, they shot uh, an incredible 58.2%. Uh, from the floor during the uh, tournament. Now we start to see some of the basketball staff and uh, soon we'll see Jay Wright and the players exit this plane as champions of the college basketball world. Can I, you imagine what it must have been like on this plane as it uh, <laughs> left? It's <laughs> funny, I was thinking about this. maybe a little exhaustion. I'm, I'm, this is just my guess and we'll ask the players, but I'm guessing they probably slept on the plane <laughs> because there's no chance they slept last That's night. True. I did hear an interview, one of the players post game last night was talking about how that Seton Hall loss actually crystallized for them what they had to do the rest of the season if they wanted to take it to the top. And I guess Jay Wright was able to take that loss and the hurt feelings that that was uh, causing for them and say, we have to have discipline, we have to have focus, we have to stick to it, and in small little increments, get better and win. And it appeared to have worked. Yeah, that loss, they made uh, some critical mistakes at the end of that game, late in the second half of that game. And it pretty much cost them, it cost them the Big East title, and it cost them what would have been a number one seed. And they probably would have ended up playing one of the regional games here in Philadelphia at the Wells Fargo Center. They ended up as a number two seed in a very tough region with uh, number one overall seed Kansas, but worked out for the best. Yeah, Absolutely. we're looking at a number of students uh, getting off the there's, bus. There's, right. there's the coach right now. And his wife and children. And there he is. Flashing the, the V sign, Villanova victory, and why not? It's the first national championship for him after more than a decade is so deserving. The team, and, the team should be deplaning any moment now. Many of them wearing the championship caps that they got right after the game. And I did read another quote that Ryan Archidiakono said. He heard one voice over the 75,000 other people in the stadium last night cheering in those last few seconds. And obviously, Chris Jenkins yelling, Arch, Arch, I'm open. And in that nanosecond, the senior, Ryan Archidiakono, who by all rights should have thrown the final shot if he wanted to because it's his last game for Villanova, decided with such maturity to hand it to a guy who's more open, had a better chance, and didn't he make the right call in Chris oh, Jenkins? Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. And in uh, the post-game interview, Jay Wright said that that's a play that they practice every day sure. in practice. But yep, it was with Ryan shooting. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's with, with Ryan shooting, or if Ryan's not open, he'll pass it to somebody. But he did say that Chris Jenkins is his last option. There are two, three, four other options before they get to Chris Jenkins. Jenkins threw the ball in, ran up court, uh, beat his man uh, uh, down the court, and was left wide open. 
course, hit that iconic shot. Yep, and they call it the Wellcat Minute. And right now, we're going to take a minute to check out, again, the video to the right of your screen. And there's the water cannon that Sarah Bloomquist mentioned. As the plane arrived, this is how they were greeted in such a celebratory fashion. The water cannon as the plane moved underneath and just a way to welcome national championships and uh, national champions back home to the Delaware Valley, doing it in style. And they'll be getting a police escort all the way to the Villanova campus. A really incredible evening and morning for them, and they are just so poised and humble. And I think that's what touches me so much, that they can get this far and have such uh, incredible focus and kindness about it and give UNC its uh, kudos as well and say what a great team they were. Yeah, a very respectful team, very uh, a, a good group of young men. And as you see some of the players come out, you'll see little pieces of the net. Right. Tied to their hats, right. and one player actually had what appeared to be a whole net <laughs> around his neck. But uh, there you see one um, on that cap there. Uh, they get to cut down the nets, and those mm -hmm. that's a little piece of souvenir that those guys will have, you know, yes. to go along with their memories, but right. sure, they'll have that for a lifetime. And we're looking live again from Chopper 6 over the scene, Philadelphia International Airport. And this is a moment that the team has been preparing months for, seniors have been preparing for four years, for maybe longer, and certainly Jay Wright has been preparing for more than a decade, and it is now crystallizing here, and we're uh, just excited to watch all of this unfold. We were going to stay with us as our coverage continues the Villanova Homecoming here at 6 ABC. We'll be right back. The Villanova Wildcats are the toast of the town tonight on their way back to campus in a moment after a nail-biting win last night in Houston, Texas. And that victory, of course, made headlines across the Delaware Valley. This is one of them, the Daily News dubbing the team Thrillanova. <laughs> it certainly was. The Wildcats are on this week's cover of Sports Illustrated as well with the headline Supernova. It shows the moment Chris Jenkins' perfect game-winning three-point shot, three shot left his fingertips. The cover story details how Villanova rebounded from an early tournament loss last year to last night's epic victory. The issue hits newsstands tomorrow. And now back to Chopper 6 HD, and we are live on the ground as well over Philadelphia International Airport, where you see more of the team deplaning now. They just landed moments ago, and they're waiting to board two buses there on the left-hand side of your screen. But take a look. They look tired. They look exhausted, but they are thrilled, and this is the staff that comes with them to these major games. We talk about a journey, and certainly it has been a journey, both symbolically and literally, as this plane uh, arrived tonight a journey that you know beating such very very good teams do this like Miami and Kansas Oklahoma and of course North Carolina North Carolina last night uh, it, it, it has been you know such a put my brackets obviously you know they went haywire you know when teams like Michigan State was but but you know this is so much better because it was in many ways unpredictable but certainly a pleasure to watch tonight yeah, they beat two very good number one seeds in this tournament. Uh, Kansas being the number one overall seed. They also defeated, of course, North Carolina last night, 77-74, another number one seed. In the final four, this team shot 64.9% in the wow. two games down there at NRG Stadium in Houston. That's phenomenal. This is a team that, we talk about it, you get hot at the right time, right. you know, anybody can win. They were hot for six straight games, and you could even say for most of the season. This is a team that finished the season, I believe, 29 and 5. Um, they had a couple losses early to some good teams, Virginia, of course, Oklahoma. They lost to Xavier. Um, but again, they get to the tournament, got, got to win six games, and, and they, they did. all six. All right. We're going to hear more about that in just a moment. Our coverage of the Villanova Wildcats stunning national championship win continues in a moment. We'll be right back. Villanova Victory Parade set for Friday, as Vernoda mentioned. It starts at 1 o'clock in Philadelphia. The team will make its way from 20th and Market Street to Dilworth Park, about five blocks. And, of course, Action News will be there for every bit of it. And Nova coach Jay Wright took to Twitter just hours after his team's stunning win, and he wrote this, quote, huge shout-out to the parents and families of these players who sent us unselfish, humble, coachable young men. Dr. Jill Biden, wife of Vice President Joe Biden, is also a Villanova alum. She tweeted out today. What a game. What a season. Congratulations, Nova. Mrs. Biden was courtside during the final four match against Oklahoma, along with her husband, who is a Syracuse alum. Well, actor, Philadelphia native, and the son of our own Dave Roberts, David Boreanaz, may also add fortune teller to his resume. Now, this is a Twitter exchange he had with Jamie Apodi. Boreanaz predicted that Nova would win by a three-pointer. How about that? Yeah, I think that, too. <laughs> Jamie added, wow, nothing like drama, and you can certainly <laughs> say all of that again. Once the game is over, Boreanaz tweeted, 
ran, jumped in the pool, <laughs> national champs. <laughs> Other local celebs shared their excitement on social media as well. Jenkintown native, TGIT director and actor Tom Verica tweeted, Nova, Nova, this Philly boy's proud, what a game. And The Roots' Questlove was actually at a performance during much of the game. As soon as he saw the final shot, he tweeted, that's how we won with several question marks. <laughs> well, anyway, you can win. There you go. We want to see how you are celebrating Villanova's national championship. You can send us your pictures and videos. Continue to keep them coming on social media, and we'll put many of them on the air for you. Just use the hashtag 6ABCAction. All right, once again, we're keeping an eye on that motorcade once it leaves the airport, heading over to uh, the campus of Villanova University. Let's check in one more time with Matt Pellman and get an update on the uh, traffic situation tonight. With Matt. a police escort, they won't have to worry about too much traffic. It's the rest of us who have to worry about it, right? Well, hopefully, all these people get out of the way as the police pass because V is not only for Villanova, it's also for plenty of volume here on 95 southbound. Monica and Rick and the team will have to go through this volume as they head southbound, likely toward the Blue Route northbound up to Route 30, the Villanova interchange to get to campus. So, of course, we're watching for the bus. the tension inside Kelly's tap room during the entire game last night, but that winning shot shows the absolute elation and the entire bar then cleared out and everybody spilled into the streets to keep the party going. Everybody wants to be in on the fun in 2016 when their team rocked it nationwide. And the packed pavilion on Villanova's campus erupted the split second after Chris Jenkins sunk that three-pointer to win it all. All of the students, as you can tell, were on their feet. Back in Texas, scores of fans last night flooded into Villanova's hotel in Houston following the big championship win. And Coach Jay Wright shot this video about 2 this morning and posted it on Twitter. You can see nobody was getting any sleep. They were all so excited. And he added, Nova Nation, you are the best. And they really are. <laughs> Let's go to Action News reporter Walter Perez live inside Villanova Stadium. Walter, you've played sports, you've coached sports, you've covered sports. What has this been like for you so far? <laughs> Oh, Rick, this is something that will absolutely go down as an instant classic. What an epic game last night with an epic finish. Something I will certainly remember for the rest of my life because I was there last night at the Pavilion. A huge crowd, a huge crowd gathering here at Villanova Stadium. Uh, the anticipation is growing as well. Now, I know that just last night they won the national title, but let's look forward for one second to the year to come. Of course, they're losing their heart and soul of this team, and Ryan Archidiacono and Daniel Oshefu as well, both of whom are seniors. But look at the underclassmen who are rising up over the coming years. You got Josh Hart, he's only a junior. Chris Jenkins, he's a junior. He's the one who uh, shot the game winning shot last night. Jalen Brunson, only a freshman. Phil Booth is a sophomore. And Michael Bridges, of course, is a uh, redshirt freshman. So a fantastic nucleus for this team to build around. And assuming Jay Wright doesn't move on to greener pastures, of course, we're assuming he will come back and keep on coaching the Wildcats. What a great future that Nova Nation has, has to look forward to. So once again, a lot of people gathered here. The excitement is building. Everybody here knows that the plane has landed, so the anticipation is growing as well. Once it happens, we'll bring it to you live right here on 6ABC and on 6ABC.com. Reporting live from Villanova Stadium, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Thank Back to you, you guys. Thank you so much, Walter. All right, many proud graduates there at Villanova and students. And now you see there the bus is leaving to go right back to that stadium to them and to say, hello, we're back in this area after an incredible run nationwide. Why? They've got a police escort, so it shouldn't take them long, and we are following it every step of the way. But we'll take a quick break. Be right back as our coverage continues. Action News. Live Chopper 6 HD. Look at that. Following the two buses from the airport back to the main line to the Villanova campus. Normally about a 45 minute or so uh, commute if it's not such heavy traffic, but they do have a police escort, so it may go a little quicker for them as they roll along. This is how national champions travel and well deserved. We can just imagine what type of um, celebration will erupt 
when the team certainly arrives on campus, when they arrived at Lancaster uh, Avenue, certainly we saw last night's celebration. The team wasn't even home yet, so we can just imagine what it's going to be like when they do hit the stadium. Uh, as Jamie Apote mentioned, they'll come in through Gate 9 and take, and take on to the football field. So it will be just a wild scene, and we will be following it for you every step of the way. But once again, Chopper 6 is over this motorcade, this police-escorted motorcade, as the team, the national champions, last team standing, arrives home, headed now back to campus. There are four seniors on the team. What a finish to their uh, high school, college, and further basketball careers. And this juncture has got to be one that they will never forget. But some of the backstories are what I love so much. And Rick, you know this story we were talking about it a moment ago, that Chris Jenkins uh, used to call himself the overweight young man from Washington, D.C. He used to say, I'm a chubby kid. But when Jay Wright came to D.C. to actually interview Nate Britt and his family, possibly to recruit him, they also said, what about Chris Jenkins? And so we talked to Chris and said, well, if you're coming to Villanova, you got to lose some weight here and re-sculpt your body, change your diet. we got to change up a few things. And uh, apparently Chris was excited to do it, was willing to do what it took. He, of course, had to relearn some moves because his body moved differently then. But uh, the spirit that he brought to the changes that the coach was suggesting was what made Jay Wright say, we got to get that young man. He's got the passion. And that is what made all the difference. So many players, so many names that touched our heart, especially last night. Ryan Archie Diacono, Daniel Shafu, Chris Jenkins, Phil Booth, Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart, uh, Patrick Farrell, just to name a few, seniors, freshmen. What a journey, what a ride it has been as we again take a look at the literal ride as they head back to campus, but what a ride it has been for all of us just to enjoy and when that, you know, I thought it was going into overtime last Absolutely. night. Absolutely. After that, that one shot that Paige made and then the shot made by Chris Jenkins. I think all of us did a little dance. Absolutely. And here now, back live on the ground at the stadium where they are anxiously awaiting the team's arrival. Of course, this win was 30 years in the making. Villanova last won the national championship, as you know, in 1985. And that is apparently the second longest drought for a team to have such a long stretch from one national championship win to another. But boy, Jay Wright, after 15 years as the coach here, didn't he deserve that win? He worked so hard with his team and really sculpted them into that ensemble cast that was able to pull this off. So nice to see Raleigh Massimino last Last night, Absolutely. and he certainly enjoyed the celebration. And the celebration continues here at 6 ABC. We are watching it. We will continue to cover it for you. Jim Garner will have much more coming up on Action News at 6. And now for Monica Malpass, I'm Rick Williams. It's been our pleasure to cover Villanova's homecoming. And we'll be right back with more. We'll take you back to the. It is Tuesday night, and the big story on Action News tonight is the return of the victors. And Chopper 6 is now live over the Wildcat convoy, making its way from the airport to the campus in Villanova. The buses have a police escort as they negotiate I-95 and 476 directly to the Villanova campus, and so they're having no problem negotiating the end of rush hour this evening. But it will still take them a few more minutes, and so let's go live to a picture inside Villanova Stadium where some thousands of students and members of the band have gathered all members of the Villanova community waiting for the arrival of the team. But again, it will take just a few more minutes for the team to get. We've got fans lining both sides of the stadium, and we have fans up here with their V's to victory. And one of the coolest sights for me, you can check this out, Bill, walk with me. I don't know if you can even get a shot, but behind all those fans, I guess you can't, is, oh, here, Bill. Come with me right here. The stands, sees part. And if you look at the scoreboard there, they have welcome home, national championship, final score 77 74, and the time is 2016. So that is pretty awesome. We're just moments away from the team arriving here on campus. The buses are going to pull up. We will be the first ones to show that to you. And then can you imagine the feeling when they all arrive into the stadium? Jim? Thank you, Jamie. We're going to go to Chad for Dad. We're going to go back up to Chopper 6 because the buses have gotten off 476, and they are but a couple of blocks away now from Villanova Stadium. That is Lancaster Avenue, and uh, these three buses are making their way. I don't know if the fans in the stadium have been told how close these buses are, but it is uh, just a minute or two. 
Let's go back to Jamie Apodi. And Jamie, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that you can hear me. Uh, Jamie and Walter Perez, in fact. Uh, these buses are close, and they are going to be there in just a minute. team's arrival. Uh, they're going to come out from right down here. The buses are close. Excitement is palpable at this moment. Actually, the uh, head women's basketball coach and some of the players are down there. He just told me a fascinating story. He passed a kidney stone in the first half of this game at home and then was much relieved when that happened and then Villanova won. Maybe that wasn't for sharing, but he found it to be a funny story because he said there's going to be a way to remember this game. Uh, we're getting very excited here. The stadium is loud, the fans are excited, and there's a huge presence out here where the buses are about to pull up any second. And I think we should just stick with it as they come because, uh, frankly, we're going to be your first point of attack right here. I can't wait to see the reaction when Jay Wright and Chris Jenkins and Ryan Archidiakono step off that bus. You'll remember when they left for the Final Four, Jay actually had to wear sunglasses because he was so emotional, and he teared up because he said, his heart and soul are with these seniors. When Ryan Arch and Daniel Oshefu knelt down to kiss the V on the practice floor for their last practice here on campus before heading to the Final Four, it got him so choked up and it brought him to tears. Last night, there were no tears for Jay Wright, just happiness and jubilation, along with a lot of us who cried some happy tears. And so again, Jamie, the bus is moments away. Yes, Jim? Uh, you were one of the last uh, members of the media to interview Jay Wright before he got on the bus. I fully expect you're going to be the first to interview him after he steps off the bus on his return. Oh, I'm going to make that happen. <laughs> I I'm going to make are. that happen. Unless they push me out of the way, but that's okay. I've got elbows here. I'm built for this, right? <laughs> I know, sharp elbows, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're looking at uh, Chopper 6 here of the buses. Um, well, they're now just about a block, a half a block away from where you are. Um, here, I'm looking, uh, I know this area reasonably well. They are now passing, all right, they're passing on their right, uh, the Villanova uh, uh, softball stadium and practice field. And they are right there, Jamie. They're at the stadium and they're about to make a left turn into the tunnel and great. you'll see them in just a second you are my eyes jim gardner and uh hopefully uh i will see this bus any second uh thank you for giving me that information we're still waiting we hear the helicopters and we hear the cheers from the stadium and we hear the dance team and uh, the crowd is still gathered i hope that the sea of people parts out here these are of course some big time alumni and members of other sports organizations and faculty and people that work for the university that are gathered here. Jamie, I'm, Jamie Apodi, I'm going to interrupt you for just a quick second because we're going to take this opportunity before the buses get inside the stadium to go to Cecily Tynan for a quick seven-day AccuWeather forecast. I'll make it quick, as quick as possible, Jim. Uh, we do have a cold night tonight. Freeze warnings are posted. Overnight lows in the 20s and teens near record cold tonight. And the exclusive AccuWeather seven-day forecast after a cold start tomorrow. The afternoon, not that bad. About 10 degrees warmer than today. 54 degrees on Thursday. A cold front moves through with periods of rain, perhaps a thunderstorm, a high of 61 degrees. And Friday, it's breezy and cooler, but a decent day for for the Villanova Victory Parade, a high of 53 degrees. But look at what happens over the weekend. The bottom drops out. Temperatures back down into the 40s. Rain or snow showers on Saturday, perhaps even a period of steady snow. On Sunday, we dry out some, mix it with clouds. Monday for the Phillies' home opener, much milder, 60. And Tuesday, rain likely with a high of 66 degrees. Quick enough for you. Back to you, Jim. Thank you, Cecily. Let's go back up live to Chopper 6. No, we're on the ground. We're on the ground uh, again with Jamie Apodi, and Jamie, here they come. See the net, and that's all that really matters. The players walking through, big smiles, and they've arrived. Hey, how you doing? This is exciting. Everyone's cameras are out. They're taking selfies. They can't wait. These are some of the walk-ons, the senior walk-ons who you've heard Jay Wright talk so much about. And you can see these guys have the net tied up in their hat. And here's Ryan Archidiakono. Arch, what is this like? It's unbelievable. Nova Nation out in full force. Not a bad way to go out, Arch, huh? No, no, not at all. You see the players continue to come.
come by. There's Chris Jenkins. Chris, everything you ever dreamed of? It's crazy. It's, it's amazing. I'm just happy that we were able to win. And you were able to hit that shot. Yeah, it's a big shot. Daniel, you ready? It's all about Chris. Let him go. Let him go. He got it. He got it. He's the man. I'm not supposed to be alive. My dad wasn't supposed to run for office. My dad was an admiral, but he left the Navy to help me fight brain cancer. And the cancer... The players continue to walk up, and we're still awaiting. Did I miss Coach Wright, or did he not walk by yet? What a scene it is here. You can tell that the players just can't contain their excitement. It is just a dream come true for all of them to have the season end this way with a national championship. Two of these seniors, Daniel Oshefu and Ryan Archidiakono, obviously over the moon with excitement. What a way to go out. You can't dream up anything quite like that. We have some more support staff coming off the bus and trying to get out here to this rally. I don't think I've seen Jay Wright yet. Jamie, I don't think we home. have either. And uh, uh, we are also don't looking worry, at. I'm sure hey, he's here. Jamie, I don't know if you can hear me or not. We are also looking at the stage from Chopper 6. And uh, we're trying to see exactly who is there. But we have not seen Jay either. And I know you're anxious Jamie, to go Jamie. get him. Go don't right worry, up to Jamie. them, Jamie. He's right here. Do not worry, Jim. We have found Jay Wright. And. As Jay Wright always is so gracious with the media, I'm sure he will have no problem joining us. Congratulations. How are you? Thank you. What is this like, Coach? This is awesome. It's, it's like you're walking on a cloud. And uh, especially nice to be back in Villanova, back you, in Philly. We've been on the, seems like we've been away. Three, three, 71 boys. <laughs> you you got so emotional when you guys left. It, does that bring this all back? You're coming back with a championship. It does. It really does. And, and that was our last practice, and our seniors got me emotional. This is awesome, man. This is awesome. This is this everything you ever dreamed, Coach? Yeah, I never even dreamed of dreamt about this part. Uh, this part I never even thought about. Well, this is for you. Jamie Apote, great job, Jamie. You did get that first interview with Jay Wright as he walked into the stadium. And uh, that was your mission, and it was mission accomplished, Jamie Apote. Thank you very much. We've got some thousands of students and other members of the Villanova community now assembled in the middle of Villanova Stadium waiting to hear from their heroes. Now they've all returned from Houston and from the Final Four. They were ecstatic to get there, and now they feel like they have accomplished everything they could now that they're back. The Villanova community, it is a family. It is a family. Uh, this is not one huge state university, by the way. This is a relatively small private Catholic college. It is as familial as a college can be. And what you're seeing right there is evidence of that. We're going to live stream all of this for you at 6abc.com. Right now we are going to the World News Tonight with David Muir and Action News will continue with all of this and more at 11. Action News is sponsored in part by Einstein Healthcare Network. At Einstein Healthcare Network, treating patients is our job. Treating people is our difference. Einstein Healthcare Network, more than medicine. Visit Einstein.edu.